We all want our kids to succeed, but it turns out that the way to help them do so is not to actually help them, but to build them into resilient individuals. There are three techniques that stand out as being the best ways to do that. The first is really common, and that is to let them fail. We've all heard about that. You should let your kids fail, but it's really hard to do. However, some of the best learning in life comes from failure or allowing your kids to do it themselves, even if it means they're not gonna succeed. When you step in and do something for your child, you think that you're helping them because the finished product is gonna be great, but what's actually happening is your child is receiving the message in their head that says, I couldn't do this myself. Without mom or dad, I wouldn't be able to make this work. So you wanna step back and let them succeed or fail on their own merits because that's actually gonna be worthwhile to them. The next thing you wanna do is make them earn what they get. I don't just mean monetarily. I mean in all the things they do in life. When I worked at the Humane Society, we used to have kids who would come up to us at fairs or come in to the offices and want a pet. And mom or dad was a little hesitant. My advice to them was, have the child start a pet sitting business. Not only would they earn the money, but they would also try out the responsibility of pet ownership. Mom and dad would get to see if the child could handle the responsibility of pet ownership and the child would get to see do they really enjoy the responsibility going out early in the morning to walk the dog, picking up the dog poop? All the things that go along with owning a pet. So it's not just about earning the actual money, but it's about the way that children really relish an experience if they've earned it, if they understand more than just the acquisition of the experience or the winning, but they understand all the responsibility that comes along with it. So make them earn everything that they get. Just toys from the grocery store, but everything up to big responsibilities like pet ownership or car ownership. The more they earn it, the more they're gonna own it. And finally, you wanna be on their side, but show them other sides. Obviously, every child needs parents who has his back, right? But while you're having your child's back, Give them the opportunity to look at other sides. Talk to them about what might the other person be thinking or why might that person have come to the decision that they did. The more you can help them see other people's perspectives, you're setting them up to be better at managing conflict for themselves in the future. Now, every child is emotionally healthy if they have parents who have their back, but sometimes they're gonna say or do something that you don't agree with. If you most of the time have their back, but show them the other person's side, then in the moments when you do disagree with them or you really think they're making a wrong decision, they're gonna value your opinion even more. But if you wanna raise an individual who can really manage conflict and move on and can have healthy conflict with other people, you can be on their side, but be sure that you're always showing them the other person's side. Those three steps are gonna help you build a child who's resilient, who's gonna find success on their own and not gonna need you to make success for them all along the way. And that's the way to build a healthy adult. Mm -hmm.